Hi, I am Charan. In this video, we are going to learning about multi-modal large language models. Okay, um, so this is a concept. I think almost all everyone is familiar. But in this video, uh, I'm planning to create a series uh, which includes uh, creating a multi-model using a small large language model. Okay, so before that, I wanted to uh, give a brief introduction about multi-model, how it works using this architecture. I found this on our uh, internet. Uh, uh, yes, let's start with this architecture. So uh, I hope you all know that a large language model, how it works. It takes a text input and it gen uh, generates a text output, right? Given a text input, uh, it will generate text output. So in this case, the uh, input source will be same and output also will be same input and uh, text and uh, output also will be text. But in the case of multi uh, large language model, these models uh, will be having the uh, eligibility that they can uh, they can able to process text, image, audio, video. Okay, so primarily these four uh, inputs and also they can generate same four formats text, image, audio and video. Uh, let's uh, go in simple terms uh, how it works based on this architecture. So uh, for each uh, for each input sources will be having different encoders. So what it will do encoders, encoders will try to uh, convert or um, compress the input data to lower dimension, right? So you will be known that these things, but actually these encoders, what they will do, uh, for example, in the text case, it will convert into an embeddings or vectors, right? Similarly in image. So image, or there will be some other models there are a lot of models like a clip embeddings uh, it will convert image into an embedding vectors right so that then we can use some input projection um, which will uh, able to uh, which will be the format where the llm can accept that format and it can generate the output okay so for example in this case let's consider llama 3 Llama 3 is a not an uh, vision model or multi-model. It's a text generation model. So how we can make that as an multi-model? I'm not talking about Llama 3.2 uh, vision models. I'm talking about Llama 3 or Llama 2. You can assume like that. Or Mistral 7 billion model, parameter of the model. Um, uh, here, what happens is, so you can see here uh, this uh, image uh, will be passed to the image encoder which will then uh, image encoder process the visual information from the image okay uh, other than, uh, then it will convert into an uh, vectors right so that uh, it will the image encoder output will be the encoded uh, vectors and these vectors uh, it will be passed to the image projection so it's projected like something uh, that LLM Llama 3 or, or Llama 2 can able to understand okay and after that uh, it will process as uh, as how it process the text so, uh, if you ask what is AI uh, you can easily get the data uh, or response from the uh, Llama 2 or Llama 3 uh, but you are now you are passing something uh, image is converted into vectors and vectors are projected using this in image input projection then it is able to process by the uh, llm okay similarly uh, then the llm will project the uh, if you are asking something about uh, generating image then we should have some models and uh, projections uh, then based on instructions it will uh, image output the image output projection so that this image diffusion model using this projection it can generate again again an image similarly with the all the remaining 
uh, input data sources audio uh, and video okay so given audio uh, using an uh, audio encoder will be converting into an uh, vectors or embeddings uh, then uh, it will be projected uh, in such a way that the llm can uh, understand how it was previously understood using text okay so uh, you know using this approach you can convert any large language models open source models uh, text only models into a multi model but here there are a lot of components will be uh, coming to the place here you should have a separate image encoder if it is uh, dealing with text and image and if you want to include audio also you should have an audio encoder uh, in in this case you uh, if you are not able to uh, get an audio encoder you can use a whisper model which will translate uh, i mean uh, which will uh, listen your text uh, i mean your speech and it will convert into an text or caption then you can pass into llm and same thing using uh, whisper or any other uh, speech uh, text to speech you can use to translate it okay and in case of video uh, it is also similar to that uh, it will works by frame by frame um, basically basically it's an image encoder only but uh, video decoder uh, there are some other decoder models which will particularly for video it will work but it uh, you can think of it as an multiple images analyzed by an encoder model okay uh, and it will summarize those uh, images in uh, in one place okay same thing goes to it will again projected into an llm understandable language and again llm will generate text and it will project as an again video uh, diffusion model and it will generate an video okay so in normal uh, layman term we can uh, say that uh, llm can understand a language okay for example english okay so you know uh, you can give an text and it will accept the text and it will generate the text but if we give an image you should make you should convert it into an uh, english language so that llm uh, can uh, take it as an input and it will again generate a text okay uh, and then using some other tool you can convert the text into a video uh, image again same with the audio okay so i hope you got it so these uh, the input source and encoder parts will call as uh, multi model input encoding and image uh, projection and audio input projection and video input projection are called as llm centric alignment llm centric alignment means you are making these uh, you are converting these input sources into llm understandable uh, and acceptable uh input source uh, i mean in such a way that you are converting and llm based semantic understanding means here uh, llm will process that and it will process as how it processed uh, text normally okay um, then it's like a this is some uh, same uh, llm uh, like llama how it process the text and again instruction following uh, you can uh, need some you can think of it is like describe this text or describe this image explain this image is any person in this image it's based on everything is like instructions and audio analyze this audio and summarize this is asked like that right so these are called instruction following alignment and again multimodal output generation so the, here the image diffusion audio diffusion and video diffusions here the text for the um, for the text it will be decoders right yeah so this is about the multimodal uh, large language models how you can uh, convert uh, your uh, text only models to multimodal with just a brief introduction about this okay i hope this video is able to help you for understanding how the multimodal works yeah uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe
and hit the bell icon for getting all my latest videos thanks for watching have a nice day